All right, fellow gun guys, Tony and Rich here from AZ Gun Guys, showing a relatively new purchase of mine, and that is, to me, one of the baddest pistols on the planet. Right there it is. The FNX 45 Tactical. FNX 45 Tactical. I'm kind of a black guns guy, so I got it in black. It does come in flat, dark earth also. Um, basically, we're out here just uh, for the... I took it to an inside range recently and shot a little bit of it. Um, now we're out here shooting out here in Castle Grand, Arizona on a firing range that they have out here. You hear the police shooting next to us, actually it's the Border Patrol working up there. They're shooting practices today. They're on the hill, right on the hill behind us here, and there's another range over here. So lots of, lots of activity here on a Monday. And this is my sweetheart here. So we're going to go ahead and get some shots of us shooting some of the steel. And then uh, we'll talk about it uh, when I get home and uh, break it down and show you some of the good things it has on it. But this is an absolute sweetheart. I call this one the BBW, the big, beautiful weapon. It is a 45, 45 ACP. Some many you guys have seen the videos, but 15 round magazine, 15 rounds, 230 grain, massive round coming at you, subsonic, just kick ass gun. It shoots great. I love it. It doesn't kick a lot. Um, of course, has all the ambidextrous features and stuff we'll talk about here in a second. But um, on, on this particular one, some guys go with that Trigicon, I believe it's the RMR. This one on here, as far as the sight, is the, the Vortex Venom. And I like it because it was half the price of the RMR and it's sweet. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a fine, fine sight. So there it is. Take a few shots here. Deadly accurate with that on there, and we're still got to fine tune it in. We haven't got it all the way tuned in yet. For that, we're going to go to indoor range with some paper, but it is just a fine, fine, fine weapon here. Absolutely gorgeous. It shoots wonderful. Has almost the kick of a nine, little more. That's about it. So there it is from the range. Here we'll put some more shots in here. That we'll get later, but for the time being, there it is right there. Isn't that sweet? FNX 45 ACP Tactical. There it is. Well, good afternoon once again, AZ Gun Guys. Tony from AZ Gun Guys here. We are introducing a new member of the AZ Gun Guy family here, and that is the FM45 Tactical. Outstanding weapon. We are outside. Today is June 13. The day is two days after the Orlando tragedy. We're keeping all of them in our thoughts and prayers. Um, went out and did a little shooting with this one this morning and uh, just got a, a few weeks ago and did uh, eh, put about 60 rounds through it a couple weeks ago at the indoor range and uh, took it out today and put about 300 rounds through it today and, and uh, we're going to talk about it. So the FN, FNX company, the FN45 Tactical. This is the black version. There it is there. Huh? Is that beautiful or what? This is the uh, case that comes in, and it's it's really sweet case. I mean, really, it's it's a nice setup. This is not really an unboxing and review per se. I shot it, like I say, about 300 rounds. However, um, because this gun has been out a good four or five years now, there are many, many, many reviews, unboxing reviews. So this is just my Tony's version, my opinion of what I've uh, what I've done with it so far, and the shooting. First of all, love the case. Again, most of you know, if we were looking at this gun, it comes with three mags, one inside, two here. Now, a lot of people put the, the uh, Trujicon RMR. I liked it. It was about 550 bucks. I mean, it's a sweet, sweet uh, um, sight on it, you know, red dot, but come on. I mean, it's, it's, it's the third again, the price of the, of the gun itself. So. Um, I looked at this one. I, I'm very happy with the Vortex. Vortex is, I had to have that on my Air 15, my Coyote Killer. And the Venom is supposedly the new one. I talked with several people, liked it, get good reviews everywhere I talked to. So I bought this one here for it. And the neat thing, of course, it has this cutout. It fits in there just like it was made for it. I mean, absolutely perfect when you look at the whole thing. There it is there. Okay. Um, the Vortex Venom. 
It has, uh, you can adjust it, the bigger beam, smaller beam. You, you can set it to where it's automatic per the light outside, you know. Haven't messed too much with that. And there it is, FM Tactical. Now, before we get too far into this, I want to make sure everybody understands something here because I'm getting some of this from, I'm sorry, some morons out there. Okay, this weapon is completely empty, okay? Just to show, there isn't a 45 bullet anywhere near me, okay? It's actually my safe inside the garage where I keep everything, okay? There's not a 45. If I swing this around to show you something, yeah, it might point at me for a second as it comes by, but I'm looking, there is nothing to, there is nothing. Now, in the most hardcore, people would say, well, you're an idiot for doing that. Well, I'm sorry, I'm also a realist, okay? I know that it is empty. Don't tell me a gunsmith doesn't look down the barrel once in a while to make sure the twist is right or, or it's clean or what have you. It's just the way it is, okay? So don't don't give me any grief about it. I hear some, some stupid comments. You guys, oh, at the three minutes and 22 seconds, you pointed the gun at yourself. First of all, the gun I did that with was a nine millimeter, had never fired a round through it, never had a bullet through it yet. It was completely unboxing, so enough, let it go, all right? My, my uh, deal today is this, this, the FN is just, it's just sweet. Okay, so let's just talk some basics on the thing, okay? It, she's a thick gun. I mean, she is thick. I call it uh, the BBW. I mean, it is, it is absolutely sweet. I mean, because the, the it's, it's a big, thick, thick weapon, um, and it's a big, beautiful weapon. That's my BBW for it, and I just, I just love it. It feels good, yet I don't have big hands, man. I'm not, a, I'm not 6'10". You know, I put the small backstrap on, which it comes with um, a total four. You pick the one that fits for you, and it, it feels good. It feels good in my hand. The grip, it feels nice. It feels sweet. When I do a nice lineup on it, I mean, it actually, it just feels really cool. It is by far the, the coolest gun I have. It just screams tactical, absolutely screams tactical from the... From the sight you can put on it, most, most guys will get flashlights that hang from there, the nice uh, tactical flashlights, which I'm, I'll look into that down the road. 45, Everything's 45, completely 45, ambidextrous on this gun, which is another nice thing, okay? It is single shot, excuse me, it is, it is double action, single action, which is, which is really sweet. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to put an empty magazine and an empty gun, okay? Now, three ways to go with this, okay? Of course, you can rack it and release it. At this point here, it's ready to fire with the red. Okay, you can go into cocked and lock, as in IE 1911. Trigger, it's kind of neat. Trigger actually pulls, but it doesn't engage it. So you can carry it in a holster, cocked and lock. We'll get into the holsters later. They're hard to find. Some people would, ca to me, this gun is way too big to carry, but people do. God bless them if you can pull it off. Okay, so cocked and locked is one. There's your ready to fire, your selective fire, and then decocked. Again, again, it has ambidextrous everything. So I'll cock it from the other side, and there it releases your decock. So now, look at that double action. Way back, way back, way back, way back, way back. There it goes, okay? There it is, okay? So, it's really it's really cool. The, other than the, the breakdown here, slide release, all three, one switch here, everything, the mag release, all ambidextrous, completely ambidextrous, okay? Threaded barrel. And they make awesome suppressor. That Osprey is just amazing suppressor on there. Very sweet, very sweet. Uh, again, uh, also the raised night sights. Okay, these are the raised night sights here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in and show you these at night. They're, they're very accurate. And the cool thing with the silencer on it, you can shoot through. Let's say you lose your optics here. You can look right, go these high, there's these raised sights. Look right over the top of the suppressor. So it's, it's pretty neat. It looks right down the top. You can, you can uh, if you ever lose sight, sight inside here, your red dot, you're still good to go. Um, we use both today when we we're sighting it in and uh, it, it's very accurate. So I'm going to kick in here. I'm going to show um, the night sights. Let's go ahead and shoot that right now. So there's the night sights with nothing. And yes, it's the bathroom. There's no wall. There's no light in the bathroom. So I go in there for my night, my night sight video. Uh, there it is. Oh no, it's just a, it's just an absolute sweet gun. It is a heavy gun. You know, it's it's over two pounds empty. Okay, it's I think a thirty. It's a, it's like thirty four ounces loaded. It's heavy, but it's balanced, very nice. I mean, it's heavy. You put a light on the front, and and I mean, after you shoot it, you know, it, it the, the 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 recoil is very manageable on this gun. Very manageable. I mean, it's 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 just the you know, it slides back really sweet. It doesn't hurt your hand. It doesn't pop. 
uh, like a like a 40 or a, even my little nine, that little that little P38 with that three and a half inch barrel, three quarter barrel that just pops on you. This one's a good, steady, straight back and and, and on you. Awesome home defense gun. You put a light a. Uh, um, Flashlight on the bottom of there, tactical light on the there, it's awesome. It just screams tactical. I mean, just look at it. Look at this thing. It just screams tactical. I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous, you know. Again, double action, single action. The balance is beautiful. Here's, the, to me, the, the most awesome part of it here, okay. 15-round magazine plus one up the pipe, okay. One up the, up the uh, barrel. 16-round, 45. 16 rounds of 45 ACP. That's, it's... You know, in 1911 world, that's the, where I come from. It's unheard of. It's it's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, want to do a quick uh, shout out to uh, LA. Watch it. To LA Ammo, L LAX Ammo. Okay, they're a reload company out of Los Angeles. If you look them up online, LAX Ammo. They're out of again Los Angeles. LAX Ammo. They do their professional reloads, okay, and that's what I've been buying for lately for the last couple of years. I have never had a jam. They fire flawlessly. They are beautiful, and they are very, very good priced. Just to throw this out again, and, and I just got a 500 round box of 45 ACP, 230 grain reloads, 900 and whatever feet per second. I would say around the 1st of June 2016 here now because of this incident that happened, these morons that killed everybody in the theater. God knows what's going to happen to ammunition again. But as of two weeks ago, 500 rounds of reloads were $130. Now, I know what you're talking about. you got to ship, it's got to cost a fortune to ship. The guys over there, I saw them at a, at a gun show here in Arizona, and they were quick to tell me that basically if you get it from them, they have very good deals with uh, packaging. Because by the time I go, if I go just for ammunition to, to a gun show, Cost it eighteen dollars to get a gun. Show another ten bucks to park. You always spend more money while you're there. So the shipping on this from Arizona or from LA to Arizona was fourteen dollars. That was it. Okay. That still puts it at you know at, at I mean it's insane at about fifteen cents a round, which is you know insane to me. No, I take that back. I'm sorry. About twenty three, twenty five cents a round, somewhere in there. My math is terrible. I, I took the dim morning off from the math class. Anyway, the bottom line is it's very, very, it's better than paying full boat on regular when you're just out plinking outside. That's that's my point on the thing out there. So it's really nice. Everybody knows this gun, and for those of you who are interested in them, was uh, brought out to compete in the U.S. Joint Pistol Program, okay, which if they don't go to this gun, they are nuts. And I know I realize it ended in 06, but they need to bring that back because this gun is sweet. Our guys would love for that. They probably do carry it. Special reporters would probably carry it anyway, you know. But, I mean, to have that big round, 45 ACP, 15 rounds plus one uh, in the chambers is just sweet as could be. Absolutely sweet as could be. And and I, I can't understand why we're still using that ridiculous Beretta. The Beretta's okay. I got nothing against it. But when I was in the service, we used a 1911. I'm a 1911 45 guy. I didn't like the fact, of course, it only held those in the service only held seven. Okay. So, but anyway, that's just my opinion. So that's pretty much gonna gonna do it for the for the. My, my, like I say, my review here, it's not a, it's not the, the reviews that you're going to see. I'm not going to tell you I'm Hickok 45. I'm certainly not nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. No, no, uh, nothing against them. They do a fabulous job. But I don't need to dress up in all the stuff I used to wear in the service and run around shooting steel targets. I go out and I shoot steel targets. And we're going to insert a lot of our steel target work here, as, as we have, you may have been seen as if I've already done. We were out today shooting, and we're going to put some of it in here and show you different things that we were doing out there because they are they are really accurate they're really 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 accurate and i'm just totally impressed so again nothing fancy you do good work i love to see your stuff but uh you know not gonna run around the desert shooting like that i'm too damn old for that uh, hickok 45 love you i wish i could afford all the guns you shoot that everybody supplies you with in the ammo not quite the same out here at az gun guys but love your work too so that's pretty much it probably my favorite guy if you want to see an awesome review on this particular gun Colin Noyor, N-O-I-R, I forget his name, first name's Colin, N-O-I-R, uh, amazing, the guy does very, very accurate, I love his work, when you've, you've know, seen any of his videos, you probably have, especially the one on this gun, he, he portrays it beautifully, he talks very well, very elegant, he loves it, and I agree with everything he says about this gun, he was the reason I bought it, really, and the uh, reason I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with this one for a long, long, long time, so that's it. From the desert, it is hot, guys. It's going to be it is going to only be 101 today or 102 on on uh, 13th of June, and today is Monday. But the rumor is, come Sunday, it's going to be 119 degrees. 
119 degrees. That is insane. Absolutely insane. So, from the heat in the desert, showing off once again, the FNX company, the FN45 Tactical. This is Tony from AZ Gun Guys. I hope you're having a terrific day. And once again, our hearts and our prayers are definitely with the people of Orlando and that scumbag. And we gotta, we got to work something out. Look for a comment on that very soon from the AZ Gun Guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.